Welcome everyone to today's presentation of Right Hemisphere Software Deep Exploration for Service and Support. My name is Vlad Kostaka and I'm sales manager of Right Connect, Right Hemisphere Distribution Partner for Asia Pacific. This is a second meet module in a series of four seminars that we are delivering over two weeks time. So if you have a problem with the echo, we will mute you all in all GoToMeeting, but we encourage you asking questions through your chat panel in GoToMeeting control panel. Now, let's quickly go through the content of today's presentation. We will introduce you to the right hemisphere company, explain what solution they are offering on the market and focus on one that is helping customers to create visual communication content. We will talk about emerging concepts of visual communication that is becoming hot topics even for the seasoned market analyst companies like Gartner Group or Aberdeen Group. Then we will go through the functionality of deep exploration and to show how solution is easy to use and also that we can walk our talk our engineer that is here with me, Madan Mohan, technical manager for the Right, right Connect uh, in New Zealand, will demonstrate use of deep exploration in the domain of product service and support. Since product is successfully used by many companies, and some of them are ready to share their stories of success with Right Hemisphere software, we will take you through a couple of these examples. And that will conclude our today's presentation. Right Hemisphere, not a household name yet, is founded in 1997 in Auckland, New Zealand. Today is headquartered in uh, San Francisco, California, USA. And you may not hear about Right Hemisphere, but their customer list is quite impressive out of Earth's eight largest defense and iron space companies, Right Hemisphere is used by six of them for all their visual communication needs. Being focused on large customers has prevented Right Hemisphere to take their product to SMB market that is now being connected through Right Connection Distribution Channel in Asia Pacific. Working with the large companies how in industry they are frequently called early adopters, companies that are happy to spend the, that uh, extra money to keep their competitive advantage and they are always pioneering new technologies. Right Hemisphere developed a range of products. In the first place uh, is a Deep Exploration, a flagship product of uh, Right Hemisphere. That's the product that helps to create all visual communication content available in Right Hemisphere. Many companies are using that successfully and uh, these large companies uh, have a huge amount of visual communication information developed. When you, and we are talking here not about uh, megabytes but about terabytes. And when you have that uh, amount of data available, then uh, probably it's very logical to see that uh, a solution that will be able to manage that uh, content and also to automate some of the processes that are involved in creating this visual com communication content. So Right Hemisphere has developed a solution called Deep Server for this task. And having a enormous amount of the data, visual communication content available throughout the company audience for that uh, data has increased dramatically and the uh, necessity to have a tool that will help to view the data and comment on that and post some feedback has led the right hemisphere to create a product called DeepView. DeepView is a free software that is about full functional markup functionality and can open, open additional CAD files. So this new distinguished point is that uh, is uh, really breaking new ground 
for the software that is available for free. After we introduce Dry Chemistry products, let's talk and explain the origin and reason for emergency of visual communication concepts. During late 80s through 90s and in the first decade of second millennium, product development companies and product development processes in these companies have benefited from the introduction of computer-aided design and virtual product development. Product development costs and time required to develop a product has been greatly reduced. That has uh, thrown a new challenge to the surface, which is normally the case. Whenever you solve one problem, the other problem is coming to the surface. And that problem that is becoming, becoming to emerge now is how to reduce time to bring product to the market, not just to develop a product. This has shifted focus from engineering departments to a company as a whole and include all other departments that are producing data and information needed to accompany products before it's brought to the market. I mean uh, marketing material, user manuals, production instructions, service manuals, service training materials, etc. All these documents are product related and ability to reuse product information captured in CAD data to faster and more cost-effective complete these tasks has become a necessity. Concept of visual communication is born. Expanding concept of visual communication has become a paradigm shift that is happening in front of our eyes for a number of reasons. Acceleration and internationalization of product development require a large amount of information about product to be communicated faster and more effectively across geographical, language, cultural, educational, and other barriers. Right Hemisphere is providing answer before, has provided answer before anybody else and continues to be a leader in visual communication for product development companies. Flagship products for ice chemistry, as I mentioned before, is a desktop solution deep exploration. By going uh, through its functionality, it's easy to understand why it's a leading product. First of all, right chemistry is a CAD independent company. There is no preferences. There is no CAD software that uh, right chemistry is working better than this with some other. It can read data from any CAD source and create visual communication content even with CAD data from different sources in a single file. It is easy to learn and use even for non-technical people. With the ability to read native CAD data, it gives access to valuable, com and valuable and complex product information available there to all people in a company that can benefit from it. What they can do with it as they can create the photorealistic images, renderings from directly from the uh, CAD model. Create technical illustrations without need to have expensive car licenses or being trained to use them. Create animations, how product works and how it's being serviced. While we are talking about animation, we all know that old saying that goes, go, that goes one picture tells you a thousand words. We can extrapolate freely that to one animation tells you thousand pictures. Animated training material is not more exception, but slowly becomes the norm. People who are using this material are much more confident in the knowledge they receive than otherwise. Early feedback, precise and, precise and understandable, is becoming key for success and extensive, extensive markup functionality available not only in deep exploration, but in 3D view products, is a differentiating factor for right chemistry right software. Visual communication content and availability of the tools like right chemistry deep exploration has released value of CAD data in many companies. The value that was uh, almost hidden all these years and accessible only by the people in product development that are using CAD tools. 
This exploration has enabled all departments in the company to create their own product related information easier, faster, and earlier, as well to take this information to the next level of quality. Now, let's have a look here into deep exploration in context of product, service, and support. Challenges that uh, product development are part, uh, companies are facing in product support and service domain are not different from any other department. Mainly, they are to reduce the cost and time creating product support and service material, to improve quality and effectiveness of the product and support service. Also, uh, with the recent trend of uh, even some process companies, like uh, example that we will show at the end of the presentation, it's becoming uh, obvious that uh, reducing plant and machine downtime during the maintenance procedure can be achieved by using a product like the deep exploration and having a developed that training procedures and check them and test them in virtual environment. Deep exploration for service and support uh, is a, a solution that helps to create a, a quality document and uh, extend the value of the CAD data create deliverables that are, are relevant for today's product development in today's uh, technological environment, and publish these files in, in the media that are, are really now being used, becoming a standard instead of having a, a printed document. Electronic information is becoming a more and more common. And one of the examples is, for instance, 3D PDF files. Now, instead of uh, me continuing to talk about uh, right chemistry and software and deep exploration, I will hand over to Madan to show you how the software is easy to use and how you can create deliverables that are relevant for product service and support. Thank you, Blacko. Hello, everybody. I am Madan. I am the technical manager for Right Connect. For the next 15 minutes, I will demonstrate how Deep exploration and deep view can be used for product service and support. I'm going to address few of the challenges of product service and support using the dirt bike as a product. Overall today, this flow demo flow is going to be creating technical illustrations, leveraging on animation capability of deep exploration to create step-by-step -step procedures for product service and support team. And finally, to publish the illustration in vector format and movie files as well. Deep exploration user interface is very similar to Microsoft Office application with easy access to different commands under different tabs. Deep exploration also allows us to have logical grouping of different layouts. It also allows us to customize our own layout. Deep exploration works with various CAD formats. It's CAD independent. It leverages on different 3D and 2D CAD design information to create high quality images for technical documents, such as assembly instructions, user manual, and service documents. Now in today's case, one of the vendors has created the motorbike model in SolidWorks and today we have seamlessly accessed this information in deep exploration to start creating illustrations. As you see there on the screen, how about creating an illustration of the bike that we already see there on the screen. One of the formats would be an Adobe Illustrator format. We could give in the different line weights and boundaries. And here is our an output of the same would really look like. It's a vector format, very, very interactive entities down there. Just imagine if this had to be done by a normal illustrator, it would have been really very expensive and it would have been very time consuming. 
For today's illustration, let's consider one of the four assembly of the bike. To begin with, I need to prepare the model to be able to create a technical illustration out of this. As a first step of this assembly, let's select in the partners and these partners have to be dismantled out of the handlebar assembly. Let's move them away. Similarly, we got to move the handlebar clamp. Then the handlebar itself. And few other components like the handlebar grip. There we go and some of the components of the disassembly are kind of ready. This is how briefly it would look like. And one of the characteristics of an illustration would be a balloon column. Either we can opt for ballooning all this manually or we can get the information from the CAD file for the company standards to create the balloon. We can either accept the default numbering scheme or we could also go ahead and enter them. There are also options for us to renumber all of them together. Here, here we go with few of these balloons. The best portion of deep exploration is that it is S1000D compliant. This is one of the global standards that everybody over the globe could understand. There are different types of balloons that we would be able to configure. We could also probably get it through a box and an arrow and so on. There are quite few options down in there. Next logical step for us in a technical illustration would be to create the truck line. Say we would want to generate a truck line between these two components. Similarly between these two of them. Another unique feature of deep exploration is when we try to move these components, you would see that the truck line also moves and all the associated balloons also move. How cool a feature is this? If such changes keep happening in a traditional illustration tool, it would take a long time and a lot of investment in making all these changes. We could also save these as different views. Let's create a new view that has saved all these information. And for any lay person who is looking at these illustrations, he would want to have a lot of information other than these, like in terms of detailed view. Let's create one of the detailed views. These detailed views are very, very interactive. It makes actually a duplicate view. Deep exploration enables this as another duplicate view. There are again several properties associated with this that we could change it into different formats, either as bubbles or we could also have a circle as an arrow and so on. Now the illustration is almost ready to be rendered. When, we, when it comes to rendering, there are two options. One would be a raster image and the other would be a vector. When we get into vector, we can control similarly the line weight, the boundary. We could also opt for the bill of material to be displayed on the frame. And it takes about less than a minute for us to generate the illustration and this is how it would look like. 
we would have absolute control over the line weights. We could always customize them and all the entities would be very, very interactive. And at the bottom, we see there's a nice bill of material on this. The same thing is enabled in deep view. We could do some basic activities like doing the measurements, finding out the different angles, sectioning it, writing some comments, and so on. As mentioned earlier, Deep View is a free downloadable tool and it has several such useful functionalities. Let's have a look at some similar examples that have been created. We could either have the normal illustrations with the balloon color or we could also have the shaded illustrations also together. Furthermore, as you see there on the screen, with deep exploration, service and support personnel can create completely interactive animations outlining the maintenance, repair and training procedures to precisely perform each procedure step by step. Here is one of the assembly procedures that have been written for the port assembly. And let's see how we can create one of these animations. Now, let's create an animation for the same. Let's create a new sequence and let's name this sequence as Mudguard. Here's the animation control toolbar that can help control the different keyframes. Let's start recording the keyframes. My first step would be to really align the mudguard in one of the views. Similarly, set the keyframe there. Start recording the move in the other direction to ensure that this is in between the four cylinders. Probably last thing for us to really assemble the smart guard at the end. Okay. Now this is the basic animation that we have created and we would be able to leverage the same to add in into the animation product step by step procedure to complete the entire assembly of the four. Let's create a new step of the thing. Give the description as assemble the mudguard. And let's leverage on the animation that we have already created. Let me play from the previous step. That was when the logical step for us would be to assemble the mudguard. All of this can be done directly by a service and support personnel without the help of an engineering department or an expensive CAD license. Now having created all these animations, we can select all of them together and output in different formats. The different format as in it could be a rendered raster video or it could be a rendered vector image. Let's see some of the examples. As in as I say rendered vector image, it would give them all the illustrations, several set procedures for this assembly. I have collated all these in a PowerPoint that would be enabled by GPU. As we know that GPU are very, very interactive elements and PowerPoint as well. 
in any of these office documents wherein we can perform the, the basic inspection of, of the illustrations as well. We could also output the same in movie file, in the form of a movie file. For today's webinar, I have created a movie with a really a low resolution. That's how you see them flickering there on the screen. However, deep exploration enables us to create movies with real high resolution that can be used as a product ramp up or for training, for service, support, and different other departments. Here we have a full fledged movie of the four percent that we saw there. Another frequently used format from deep exploration would be an output that's 3D PDF or a several list, either a 3D HTML or 3D PDF is what is frequently used. Over the years, right hemisphere has invested a lot in automating and templatizing the various outputs and collaterals that can be shared with the different stakeholders. Here you see a preview of one of these templates that talks about procedures, steps, and bill of materials. Similarly, there are a lot of other templates that are readily available for publishing. Whatever we saw in deep exploration, the same we would also be able to see it in a 3D PDF. They are pretty much interactive. Here you see all the animation that we created in deep exploration. The same thing is seen as a part of PDF. I've enabled a full screen view there of the critical dimensions for the assembly, the sequences of the assembly, and so on. The directions in which the partners would be assembled and what kind of tools we would use, and there we go. With deep exploration and deep view, service and support departments can quickly and easily create tech illustration as well as step-by-step -step procedure animation. At the same time, safety is the most important for all of us worldwide. Here is one of the advantages of using deep exploration, whereas we have the different symbols that we can use in our product. And then when the service people have to dismantle the assembly, they need to really use a crane. People working on sharp objects like this sprockets or the tires, they may have to use a hand cloth. People working on sharp objects similarly on the floor, shop floor should use the boots, as well as wear productive helmets and gloves. Deep exploration has a huge library of symbols of different arrows that can be used in for either assembly instruction or service instruction. There could be a few that can be mandatory action. So the huge set of library down in there. In this case probably I would want to add that we should not be using a mobile phone in the shop floor. I go back and just drag and drop it into the environment. It is that simple and that easy. That we are not supposed to use the mobile while we are a brief overview today. I would like to hear more from you via our partners as to how we can help you adopt deep exploration in service and support department. Now let's hear a few customer success stories from Blackhawk. Hello, 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 Blackhawk and seen how deep exploration is easy to use and how results can uh, be achieved very quickly. I hope that you understand that why we like more to show the product than to talk about the product. As mentioned in the introduction, the right hemisphere deep exploration is used by many companies and some of them are ready to share with you what they have achieved using this software. We have prepared two examples from two different industries. Wildcraft manufacturing, household appliances, and uh, 
a process synthesis activity. Let's talk about the fission biker and what they have achieved. It's a quite impressive, I have to say. Fission biker is a supplier of the premium whiteware appliances or household appliances. And uh, they are selling in more than uh, 80 countries. They are based in New Zealand and their product development is happening in New Zealand. But their manufacturing sites are based in New Zealand, Italy, Thailand and Mexico. They have a, as you can imagine, in the whiteware industry in uh, home appliances, they have a frequent uh, product change and product updates. And challenge that they're facing is to keep up with their user instructions or service instructions with these changes. Creating technical illustrations used to be very manual and time-consuming process. In many situations, we actually had to do a photograph of the product and then edit these photographs. Is Lindsay Parker is commenting on a situation that they have had in Fisher Pico Technical. Lindsay Parker is a, a chief technical writer in Fisher Pico Appliances. With deep exploration now and using CAD data that is available, technical writers can achieve their results in a fraction of the time. No more manual photographs are required, and uh, they don't uh, need engineers to accept CAD data. Of neither they need a CAD software to create the illustration they need, and their illustrations have to be on a level of the product in a premium category. So quality images and uh, like these on the screen are required. Lindsay is saying again that. Uh, they were able to reduce time required to create technical illustration by at least 50%. What used to take two or three people half a day can now be done by one person in five to ten minutes. They really appreciate functionality and benefits that deep exploration has brought them, and they are exploring the use of uh, deep exploration in other areas like manufacturing and uh, uh, product collaboration. Now we can switch to uh, another story, success story, it's a New Zealand steel, it's a steel mill, not a traditional product development company, but a process company. They are based in New Zealand, in Glenbrook, about 60 kilometers south, south from Auckland, and uh, they export 60% of uh, their steel output. Problem or challenge that they have is they have to plan and execute service and maintenance process of a steel plant more effectively and save time and money. Every day that the plant is shut down is a huge cost for New Zealand steel. So they have to rehearse that and make sure that they are executing that seamlessly, flawlessly, and they have a reduced shutdown time or time down in a steel, steel mill to minimum. In the past, they have relied on the people that uh, have done that before. They have experience on this and uh, up to a certain extent to the written procedure. However, with the retiring of each of these guys that uh, were taking care of the maintenance uh, and shutdown procedures at steel mill, a piece of knowledge was going out. And uh, to prevent that, they wanted to embrace new technology. So they are using deep exploration to create, test, and rehearse all the maintenance procedures in virtual environment and train the people that will execute them using these tools. According to Ian Reynolds, plant maintenance supervisor at New Zealand Steel, that has been a great success. And uh, I will, there is an example of a, an animation that uh, takes about seven to eight minutes. And because we are already running over the time, we will leave it to play after we finish the webinar. And uh, the, for the people that have a time to look through that, it's really worthwhile looking at. Now, to reiterate what Renal, Ian Renal is saying, the end result is reduced downtime and thousands of dollars saved on each maintenance shutdown. 
Now, let's go quickly through summary of what, what we have seen today. We have seen that the deep exploration, right here you see the software, can unlock value and potential of key data and enable users from different departments to co create the content they need on their own. They can take ownership of a project and create content without relying on the help of engineers with, that are using CAD software. They can create high quality technical illustrations faster and they can reduce the time required for service and maintenance procedures. All these benefits are widely accepted and confirmed in number of the companies. Before we finish this off, I would like uh, us to uh, remind you just that uh, we are having the two more seminars running next week on Tuesday and Thursday. This exploration for manufacturing on Tuesday, Tuesday the 6th of October and this exploration for design communication on Thursday 28th of October. I warmly invite you to attend this seminar. Thank you very much for attendance, and with this we will wrap up this presentation. After this slide, we will run the animation for the plant maintenance that was made available by New Zealand Field.